going to be watching Doctor Who Series 9, Episode 8. Very excited to get into this one. Let's get on with it. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that's weird. Oh wow, the mist. Oh wow. Maybe the doctor and her jumped out before. I know what you are. Evil Clara's cool. I'm going to set you free. Zygon Clara. Humans cannot accept the way we really are. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. What the hell? I'm going to unit to retrieve the Osgood box. Yeah, they jumped out. Why do you have a Union Jack parachute? Um, <laughs> camouflage. Specs are broken. You can wear mine. Don't look at my browser history. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I said don't. You've gone quiet because I mentioned Clara. Do you think she might be dead? Yes. Clara. It says I'm awake. It's not from the Zygon. It's from Clara. She's in a pod somewhere. She's fighting back. Ah. Uh. John Disco. It was my plane. I had a big plane for purposes. <laughs> it went off with a massive bang. Ah, uh, Zygons. Actually, uh, we're fine, aren't we? She's answered. You're dead. I think I might be a bit more dead in a minute. What's your plan, Zygella? I don't have a plan. <laughs> Where is the Osgood box? I assume that you never bothered to learn Morse code. Is it in a tunnel? Is it in London? Thanks very much. We're coming to get you. Don't tell her where the Osgood box is. Don't tell her what it is. <laughs> Ah. Obviously the Zygon could hear that. So tortured, I love it. So, oh, I got a ping on Clara's phone. To South London. She's posted a video link. We need to hurry. London! What a dump. London is okay. <laughs> no, it's not, it's a dump. Bonnie was here. Oh. Where is the Osgood box? Lie and you die. Unit HQ, the Black Archive. You have access. Yes. What's in the Osgood box? The box ends the ceasefire. Why is it called an Osgood box? I'm not telling you. You'll find out for yourself. See you later. What's your name? Osgood. Oh my god. No, 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 your first name. Okay. And what's your first name? Basil. Petronella. Let's just uh, stick with what we had. <laughs> Which one are you, human or zygon? No, we can help you. They attacked me. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. Please! There it is, Oscar. Oh. There's that plan. Doctor, we know where Clara's pod is. The Black Archive. Oh, they like a good cave, don't they? Which one is Clara's? I think they're Zygons. Normalize. I think you're reaching the end of your... Don't kill him. Because I just found out why it's called an Osgood box. Ah, oh, fuck. Boxes up. One box normalizes all the Zygons. And the other? Destroys them. Which is which? Ah, uh, that would be telling. This is war. You pull the trigger, you pay the price. The blue one normalizes all your people. Doctor? <laughs> Oh wow. I'm me. How did you survive? Five rounds rapid. Nice. 
I know you don't approve. Sullivan's gas, the gas that kills the Zygons, you took it. That's what's in the red box, yes? Of course it is. Let me negotiate peace. One human and one Zygon. Keep the peace. Peace is failing already. Hi! Hello! Stop this place. We'll forgive. We'll forget. No. Doctor, which of these buttons do I press? Truth or consequences. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Bonnie, sweetheart, one of those buttons will unmask every Zygon in the world. He sounds like the, the pedo one. in Torchwood. Cancel. It's not fair. Oh, it's not fair! My TARDIS doesn't work properly, and I don't have my own tailor. The things don't equate. These things have happened, Zygon. <laughs> you just want cruelty to beget cruelty. Just a whole bunch of new cruel people. The only way anyone can live in peace is if they're prepared to forgive. Why should we? What is it that you actually want? War. When this war is over, what do you think it's going to be like? Well, oh, you don't actually know, do you? You don't actually know what you want. When you've killed all the bad guys, what are you going to do with the people like you? We'll win. Oh, will you? But nobody wins for long. Break the cycle. Do you know what I see? A 50% chance for us too. And we're our fingers on buzzers. Are you finished? Are you ready to finish? Yes. This is not a game. No. You set this up. Why? Because it's not a game, Kate. This is a scale model of war. Because it's always the same. You have no idea who's going to die, whose children are going to scream and burn. How much blood will spill until everybody does what they were always going to have to do. Sit down and talk. Wow. Listen to me. Just want you to think. You could step away. I'm not stopping this, Doctor. Well, here's the unforeseeable. I forgive you. I forgive you. You don't understand. I don't understand. I fought in a bigger war. I did worse things when I closed my eyes. Wow. I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. You hold it tight and you say this. No one else will ever have to live like this. Feel this pain. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh fuck. It's empty, isn't it? There's nothing in them. Ah. Of course. I knew there was some up. Do you know how you know that? Because you've started to think like me. No one should have to think like that. And no one will. Not on our watch. Gotcha. We know the boxes are empty now. We can't forget that. You said that the last fifteen times. You didn't wipe my memory. It'll be our secret. That was another box. I was gonna wipe out all of my own kind. I let Clara Oswald get inside my head. Trust me, she doesn't leave. But she will at some point soon, because they keep building up to it. You are all safe. What does it stand for? Are you kidding me? It stands for totally and radically driving in space. <laughs> Do you want to come? More than anything, but I think I have to stay. Fair enough. She was cool. I'll see you in the TARDIS, okay? Don't let him die or anything. What if he's really annoying? Then fine. Got you. <laughs> I need to know. Human, what's I got? I'll answer that question one day. The day nobody cares about the answer. Oh, wow. Well, it's almost not fair. What? Don't how, how... Well, it wouldn't be right, would it? Carry on using Clara's face. And there's a vacancy. Oh, okay. Petronella. You're a credit to your species, Petronella Osgood. No, Basil. We're a credit to both... Is his name actually Basil? <laughs> You must have thought I was dead for a while. Yeah, longest month of my life. It could only have been five minutes. I'll be the judge of time. Huh. Really good episode, that speech the Doctor gave, really cool. I'll be honest, I don't really have much to say and I didn't really say much throughout the episode, I was just concentrating and stuff. But it was a really good episode. It's such a Torchwood vibe to it and I wish we get, I wish there's more episodes like this. I do think the Torchwood vibe and having the Doctor, it really does work really well. You get to see a more serious, I mean this Doctor's already really serious, but you get to have that very serious tone to it and I think it does work and it does, and it does show you don't need to be all mature and R-rated to still have that tortured vibe. You can still do it with it still being a Doctor Who friendly show. So it's really cool. Yeah, not re not too much really happens in this episode. It's sort of like an aftermath and just sort of wrapping up the story of the last episode. I do, if I had to pick between an episode, 
I do prefer the first episode. But I mean, it's it's one story, so you know, you can't really pick. It's just one story. So I don't really have much to say. The speech at the end was really cool, hearing him talk. You know, talk about his experience with the Time War. Just that whole speech, really cool. It was really good too, part, And I wish we do get more episodes like this. Can't wait to watch more. Thank <laughs> you.